Welcome back everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we are going to continue our Dreamweaver lesson 2. In this lesson, we are going to uh, learn how to create a header, how to insert headings, insert footer, uh, create ordered and unordered list, inserting an image and horizontal rule or horizontal line, insert the date and insert characters and finally how does the div tag work. Uh, so mainly we are going to handle most of the uh, basic insert uh, panel options um, If we go back one lesson I taught you how to uh, How to change the workspace of your Dreamweaver and what are the three views or four views? Which are the code split and design? Uh, today for a purpose we are going to use the split view in order to see what is happening in the code and finally uh, I'm going to start with the insert uh, panel of course we have different options uh, in the insert panel and uh, I'm going to follow the PowerPoint in order to just organize the work so the first thing is that we are going to create a header now the header file is usually uh, used in order to name our website or to give a heading to give a title sometimes to put the logo there uh, we can change the heading or the he file header into different headings we can do whatever we want we can apply formatting on it it doesn't matter uh, and the way in uh, which we can insert the header file is simply by going to the insert panel and picking the header file um, at the insertion point yes so we are just going to insert it now we can change this one this text into whatever we want uh, let's say welcome to my website and after that we can do whatever I need for the formatting regarding this uh, header file so now in order to continue the PowerPoint I'm going to convert this header file into a heading okay now the heading is important because uh, it is considered one of the most important elements which is SEO search and then uh, engine option optimization and this will help um, anyone who searches for a specific website to locate your website better so it's uh, very important to um, highlight our uh, heading uh, the headings that are available are six types of, of heading from heading one until heading six of course the largest one is heading one the smallest one is heading six so simply when I click on heading one it will be converted into a heading one uh, title so we will have a title for our website um, it's simple as that if you want to change the heading one into another heading to make it smaller uh, we can change it as uh, we like and if you see that the heading will be changed in the code as well so if we click this heading heading 2 if you want heading 3 or 4 or 6 6 is the smallest I will uh, stick to the heading 1 and after that I can create let's say um, a description for my website uh, you see that moving through elements in the HD uh, in the Dreamweaver software is not like that easy so I can use the code to do that so in order to go after the heading one I will simply enter the code and press enter then I'm on the other side so for example I'm going to make a description for my website okay this is the introduction simply this introduction I will convert it into heading two and then after that I will manage to write some uh, intro let's say the purpose of this tutorial is to teach students uh, the following oops okay so now I'm working with the, this website and in my PowerPoint I reached into inserting the heading we have another option which is inserting a footer 
Now the footer, we use it in several ways. For example, I listed these uh, things that we can insert in the footer. It is copyright, you know, like, um, let's say 2020 copyrighted sitemap, which will include all the pages in the uh, website, privacy policy if you want to list any policy there, uh, contact details, phone number, email, or whatever, whatever, addresses, okay, phone number, fax, navigation bar can be there, or social icons, which is the Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, let's say, if they want to follow you back. And setting a footer won't be any different than any other elements. So the same thing, I will just specify where to put the footer or where to insert the footer. And I will go to the uh, insert panel and search for the footer, which is here. I will just leave it as it is. So this is my footer now. And this footer I can say copyright 2020. and I will make it in the center by using the properties panel for this footer I can simply make it in the center then after that I can uh, control the page and uh, you know by clicking enter or making a breaking space um, in the same way I'm doing like uh, at the moment so this is the footer and we can type mobile number or uh, contact us or any other details, links, whatever you want, it's for you. Now the next topic is creating ordered and unordered lists. And these are uh, one of the main uh, tags that we use in the Dreamweaver and HTML. It was like a big deal before in HTML because some students uh, kept uh, thinking that it's complicated. But I see it's very easy. Now, within uh, the Dreamweaver, uh, it will be a piece of cake. But also, we need to use some of the code sometimes, and I will show you how. You need to know that ordered lists are, are uh, lists that have numbers, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, A, B, C, D, and whatever. And unordered lists are with bullets uh, and uh, different type of bullets like square or disks or whatever. When I explain it, uh, now in the Dreamweaver it will be uh, uh, more clear so for example the tutorial will focus on the following let's say it will focus uh, first thing on uh, uh, creating or uh, introducing students to Dreamweaver and then after that introducing us to links and then uh, insert panel and whatever publishing the website now these points I'm going to list them on an order list so whatever what I need to do is to click the unordered list that is in the insert panel and as you see we have this point our bullet point appearing here if you see the code you can see notice that here that uh, ul is created and there is li li is called list item and ul is unordered list in the list item any point that is listed here it will be surrounded by li tag which is this item so let's say uh, introduce students to Dreamweaver CC now when I click enter you will find that another LI is created here and all of them are between the UL list unordered list okay get to know um, insert panel then after that um, inserting links and finally let's say publishing the website okay guys so we have four bullets and we have four list items under one unordered list because they are all into within one section now when I use the ordered list I want to make it somehow more challenging or more uh, complicated so let's say the insert uh, panel it has different uh, type of options if I try to click enter here I will find that there is another ally within the UL what I'm going to do guys is that I'm going to go and target this LI in the code editor click enter and then insert the ordered list now this is called guys nested list 
because I have an ordered list inside an ordered list okay so here where I'm going to create my order list so I'm going to click on the list item and then I will type let's say header now if I click here and view you will find that header is a part of the insert panel if I want to do another one I hope it is logical now I will create again the list item then I will uh, say links let's say then after that I'm going to create another one click on the list item and type footer okay let's say a fourth one I'm going to enter again and click on the list item and say uh, date if you view it there you will find that this is called nested lists another thing that I'm going to use in the code editor is that I'm going to change the type so for example some of us don't want the numbers to be one two three I want them to be ABC so because of this I don't have it in uh, Dreamweaver already maybe I will have it in CSS but I can do it directly from the code so I will target the ordered list and there is an inspector or let's say a property called type and I will make the type equal a small letter so now the list will be changed into a b c d or let's say we want to make it as an a capital so it will be a b c d capital if you want to change it to roman numbers you know the roman numbering system it will be changed in roman numbers and so on meanwhile i'm going just to make it like a b c d just to keep this code if you want to get back to it later on i hope this is clear the vice versa is also applicable if you want to make like one two three four and inside one of the points you want to make an ordered list you will do the same as i did here okay guys so moving next i'm going to insert an image which is one of the most uh, important elements that the website can contain because images are everything guys you know and one image can speak more than uh, thousands of words so in setting an image will also require me to go to the insert insert tab or insert panel and I will find an image here so simply I need to browse my image after I click here you know that I created a website folder and also I created an image uh, folder inside so I just put the picture of two cars and I'm going to insert one okay no need to see this again it is showing me the path and then I'll click OK now the comment that you might uh, all notice is that the car size is big if you compare it to my web, web page simply what I need to do is to click the car and go to the properties inspector or properties panel and I will decrease the size of the car let's say uh, it's 1200 pixels by 900 pixels horizontal so I will just make it 400 pixels now when I go to the to the height it will be changed proportionally because this option is linked together you see the lock it is the constraint of the uh, of the size of the picture so it will ensure that the picture will not be stretched if you see or notice that the picture is also big you can simply decrease with noticing that the height will be decreased automatically so it will be uh, proportional hope you get it if you remove the lock then the image will look stretchy okay if you remove this lock and you try to change the width of the uh, car then the height will be cha not changed unless you do it manually okay so if I make it like 300 or let's say 400 okay the car image will be stretching so guys this is not good in the web design principles okay stretching images no 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 please keep uh, away from this so it's better to keep it like proportional this lock is the key okay uh, you can find that this is a source of the picture if you want to link it to somewhere but we will take the links later on 
uh, you can edit whatever you want. We'll move to the next topic, which is inserting the horizontal rule. The horizontal rule is usually a separation between web content or web page content. So let's say that uh, after this uh, introduction or after this uh, paragraph, I want to insert a horizontal line. So simply I will head into the code and try to separate uh, this paragraph. Okay, I'll just type enter here and I will insert what we call a horizontal rule. From the insert panel, of course, I will just search for it and it will be a line, you see. It is a line that is extending uh, through the whole page. Now, this horizontal rule, it has also some uh, attributes. So we can change the height and the width. Let's say the we want the width to be uh, 500 pixels. So it will be like half of the uh, page. If you want also to make the height, to make it more thick, you can change it also uh, from the height. The alignment, let it be default and so on. So this is one of the uh, simple uh, and also useful uh, tags. That... Uh, the next topic is uh, to insert the date, which is very simple. I mean, I will insert the date, the today's date, and I can also keep it uh, updated automatically. The same thing, I will go to the insert menu, okay, and I can find it below the horizontal rule, and I can simply click on the date, and it will insert for me today's date. I will choose and pick the formatting, uh, and that's it, okay? We can update it automatically if you click this one, and the date will be inserted. Uh, we are almost done guys. I'm sorry for taking long time today um, Next topic is inserting a character which is also from the insert panel and there is a drop-down menu in the character uh, And we can see that there are some things that we cannot type using the uh, Dreamweaver like the pound key the euro the yen the copyright uh, the register trading mark and others Breaking line is an enter. When you click enter, it's like exactly the breaking line. And uh, you can just simply use these. Uh, let's say if we go back to the footer and I want to insert the copyright item, I will go that, uh, I will click in the uh, character menu and I will choose the copyrighted. And as you see, it will look like this. Uh, finally guys the last thing is uh, inserting the div tag which is uh, called the division tag and it is available in the insert menu it is the first one the div tag guys is used to combine specific elements in the Dreamweaver okay so it is like a container that consists of several elements like the paragraph or the pictures I want to insert three or four pictures inside the div. Then after that, I can apply the CSS rules on it, and uh, it is useful. We will use it uh, also later on when we start uh, teaching you the CSS. I hope you will enjoy uh, this lesson. Hope it's uh, a benefit, um, and I will see you later next week. Thank you, and stay safe.